The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back again, and that means that you are too here on The Local Show with Tom and Steve. Steve has a text line that you can uh, text him pictures of yourself. <laughs> no, uh, no, oh, no, is that no, not no, what it's no. About? It's, thankfully, it's thought, got a filter. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, but uh, hey, who do you words. want to hear on the show? Who do you want to hear more of? Uh, do you want Tom to actually sing and play his bass guitar? <laughs> Those kinds of things. Text us to uh, 213-0273. Uh, questions ideas uh compliments of course we take compliments and sure. uh, and thanks for listening to the show by the way and just as a side note tom um usually say something like by the way we're a marketing firm and if you oh, need right. help yes. growing your business that is what we do and right now people are making their plans for 2025 if you haven't had a plan and you've kind of made it up but you went and maybe it worked maybe it didn't let's chat and maybe unpack some ideas and help you uh, grow your business in 2025, Tom. There we go. All right, Sev Ganella is with us. Back to the show uh, with uh, Sev. How are you, man? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me in. Excellent. So tell people what Clean All is and what you're all about. So in the world of swimming pools and hot tubs, we do everything there is to do with pools and hot tubs, commercially and residentially, except we do not build pools. Huh, gotcha. So liners, plaster work, tile work, liners, covers, major filtration, community center pools, city pools. So do you build? Do you build pools? Uh, <laughs> no. We do not so you pools. fix stuff. I mean, and that that goes to the, the clean all brand. I'll speak to this. Sev, you can freaking fix anything. I know you. Mm, Most that you so it has so, to do with pools, yes. But yeah, but yeah, if if that microphone was broke, you say okay, and you would pull it apart because it's the way you think. Pools. How long does a pool last? I mean, at one point you go, this thing's dead. I mean, I'm working on an in-ground pool right now on Winkworth Parkway. Uh, the pool is probably 50 or 60 years old. Wow! And we are rebuilding the whole pool. Pulled off the concrete. The coping, new liner, all new lines, all new pad for the filtration oh system, a new cover, uh, steps underneath the liner, line steps. It's a twenty by forty pool, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. Well, that sounds nice. Mm-hmm. That's a, what? Have you ever like? What's your favorite? If you think back, like uh, you've restored lots of things. There's like one that stands in mind, like that you go, you know, that was really cool. Not, not so much restoring, but solving problems that people don't know how to solve. You know looking into it and finding something that you didn't realize, learning something new. Mm-hmm. When I learn something new, and even at my age, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm impressed with well, it. Do people create their own problems with their pool? By letting things go too long. If you like see, what? You got a drip, a drip is a problem, a drip turns into a major leak, and a major leak causes more problems. So if you see a little drip on your motor by the seal, get the seal replaced, because if the water goes back to the motor, then you're replacing a whole motor. So don't let things go. You know, realize that chemistry is important. Realize that clear water isn't always healthy water. So you should test your pH because you could have clear water and have it be aggressive and have it ruin your $4,000 heater. How much of an evaporate a day, a week, a year is reasonable? And at what point do you say, this isn't evaporating, I got a leak somewhere? A couple, it depends on the temperature really. But, But the test is take a bucket of water, put it by your pool, and the water in the bucket will evaporate at the same rate as your pool. So if the bucket of water evaporates a half an inch and you've lost an inch in your pool, you have more of a problem. (laughs) Okay, gotcha. So So this time of year, people do turn their eyes toward maybe a a, a sauna, or not sauna. The hot tub, (laughs) Tom. The the hot tub. They might turn it toward the sauna. I was gonna say, it might be the sauna, but yeah. If you're really, uh, if you've got Steve kind of money, you could have both, right? (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) But the hot tubs, um, is there a particular brand? Can you mention brands, or is that not something you do? But we do warranty work for a bunch of different hot tubs. Master Spa, Strong Spa, Frog Spa, so we do warranty work for them. Important things with spas are learning your routine for how you use your spa. Mm-hmm. Um, if you use it seven days a week, you're going to need more chemistry. If you use it once a month, you're going to need less. But, yeah. but having your routine down, what works for you? Everybody has a different routine. Having one is important. So why does it using it use more chemicals? I mean, if you're putting the water in, you're, well, because you have your body, you know the. Yeah. You, 
you, when you, you get know, into an you ocean, you don't affect the ocean. When you right. get into a pool, your dirty body doesn't really affect the pool. Right. When you get into a hot tub. <laughs> I thought that's where this was going, but that really yeah. so yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So my trick is to, when you're done with using your hot tub, you need to replenish that chlorine, that bromine, that whatever, oxygen, bleach. Take that up. What your body used up, you replenish right when you get out. Okay. Because the, the, the tablets and the things that are dissolving are only dissolving a certain level. They don't dissolve more or faster when you get in or Tom gets in the hot tub, especially sure. Tom because we know <laughs> Tom. Okay. So, <laughs> so when you get out, you, you put the the amount you feel you need for your size tub mm. and leave your cover open for 10 minutes because that, that chemical um, release deteriorates the cover if it, the cover is on while it's doing its chemistry. So your your, your uh, company's over on Gettison near Boulevard. Correct. Kind of sort of near the old DMV that yep. up the road there. Do you still sell those tablets that, that you put in the water and if someone pees, it makes a blue <laughs> ring? Are they still available there? I got a notch on the wall here. This is the fifth time you've asked that question. It's a, you know what, I just saw I just saw a posting last week and it was like a far side thing. Or what it, was. Yep. it was, it made me think of you, right? I'll it, send you a package of them. You got it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> So with your hot tubs, just one more thing, you know, we're getting ready for the winter. If you think you have some problems, take care of them right, now right. because trying to address them when it's freezing and you have to drain the tub and you have freezing and cracking. You like know. like what what could they address then? <clears throat> what what happens uh, to I'm a hot tub? Losing water in my hot tub, it's leaking, it's oh, okay. leaking. So it, it's a problem. So you need to solve that now. Um, jets that are cracked that aren't working, you know, you gotta drain it down to fix those jets. Yeah. So you don't want to do that in the winter. We don't want to do it in the winter. Is it best different. to have a hot tub outside, you know, uh, uncovered on a back porch, or is it better to have it in a house in a in a sunroom, or you know how where where's the best place to build one or have one if you buy one? It's what you're looking for out of it. If you're yeah. a person that lo I love sitting in my hot tub during its during a snowstorm, yours yeah. is on the middle of the yard, kind of right? Yeah, with my 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 little hat. Visors, the snow's not getting in my glasses. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the the freezing on my beard. But just to be out there and have the heat and the cold, I love it outside. Yeah, Some people that cool. use them more as a therapy, uh -huh. okay, inside because they use them anytime. They don't have to worry about things. And so it's really what, what you're looking for, but I, I love it outside. And you can put one in, so you can put one in a sunroom. There's yep. no no restrictions. On, no, no restrictions. You just need to, you need to take care of how you're addressing the humidity. Right. Some kind of dehumidifier because it will ruin a room, even though the covers are... Or iron. When you take that cover off, you got that humidity. If you can't get that out of the room, you're going to mold and mildew and stuff. Right. Like the chemicals that you put in, in a hot tub, do they leach into your body? Are, are there bad ones? Can you hurt your body? No, because you're, you're testing your chemicals. You're putting the chemicals in that are appropriate for sanitation. Okay. If you're dumping four times the amount in, maybe over a long period of time it will. Yeah, I like, you, your, I like your question. So if I'm putting chlorine and these things in it, is it you know is, is, is it, it going to ruin into my, my skin, skin yeah. or is it going to no. am I going to come out like an albino or what? No, the? no. you're putting chlorine. Our water's chlorine. chlorine. Chlorine is not a bad thing in the right amount. You know, mm -hmm. you know the wa drinking water you have has chlorine in it. If we didn't have chlorine in this world, things would be a lot worse. Off. <laughs> right. So using the right amount, having the right chemistry, the right pH balance, and alkalinity. And over there at, at your place, you 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 know pools. I mean, I, yep. I know I could buy chemicals at Walmart for my pool, but I'm not convinced the person, no offense, if you work at Walmart and sell pool supplies, that that's their thing. And I continually hear the testimonies of people walking in, oh my gosh, I didn't know, and then fill in the blank, and you help them learn. And yeah, you can get take care of them or fix what they have too. Yeah, I'm looking for customers for a lifetime, not the one shot. Sold a hundred fifty buck dollar bucket right. of tablets and walk away. So if you got pool questions, hot tub questions. Uh, Sav is the is the uh, pool hot tub answer man. Thank you. Maybe uh, cleanallcny.com. They go there. They can uh, get all the info. Get a phone number. Get whatever they want. Tom. Huh? Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you, Sav Ganella. You have a uh, great rest of the day. Okay. Thank you. All right.